This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 534. Exercise sucks. Here's what to do about it. Part two, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil, your very own personal narrator. Welcome to a Thursday edition of Optimal Health Daily. Remember, this is one of five podcasts we read to you from blogs for free so that you don't have to read them yourself, except on Fridays. That's where I usually answer your questions. Now, today's post is a continuation from yesterday. So if you're new here, definitely check out yesterday's episode first. That's episode 533. And I totally spaced yesterday. I am due for an inspirational quote. So without further ado, here we go. Quote, be master of your petty annoyances and conserve your energies for the big worthwhile things. It isn't the mountain ahead that wears you out. It's the grain of sand in your shoe. Robert Service. And with that, let's get right to part two as we optimize your life. Exercise sucks. Here's what to do about it. Part two by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. You don't have to prove anything to anybody but yourself. When I ran cross country my freshman year of high school, I hated every day of practice. But I had friends on the team and I told myself I was a quitter if I stopped. I made it through the fall season. Barely. As I trained for the upcoming season during the next summer, I refused to let myself get beat by stopping running even though I hated it. Finally, after a month of increasing misery went by, I accepted my training preferences and decided that putting myself through another four months of torture to prove a point to nobody that I could do something I hated was the dumbest idea I ever had. Well, second dumbest. I once thought it was a good idea to cast a fishing rod a few weeks after breaking my collarbone. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done. So when I stopped running, I decided to try something else. I got a gym membership. And that gym membership changed my life and started me down a path that led me to nerd fitness. Find your fitness. Today, I'm giving you permission to make some changes. If you don't like exercise, it doesn't make you a bad person. If you don't like to run, it doesn't mean you are a quitter or doomed to stay overweight. If you've gone to a boot camp and it kicked your butt and you hated it, it doesn't mean you're weak. If you have gone to a gym and you hated lifting weights, you never have to pick up another weight again in your life. Instead, I want you to find the type of fitness that brings you to life. If you haven't done that yet, you haven't looked enough places. So, look more places. Have you tried parkour? What about rock climbing? Swing dancing? Yoga? Brazilian jiu-jitsu? Geocaching? LARPing? Kung Fu, powerlifting, running. These are all awesome forms of exercise and will get you to a pretty solid baseline of health. After all, how you eat will determine 80 to 90% of your physique. If you're trying to look a certain way or build certain skills, then yes, you will need to train and eat a certain way. For the rest of us muggles just trying to lose some weight, get in better shape, or look a little better, eating healthy and doing a fun form of fitness a few times a week, along with some walks, will actually get you most of the way there. Don't worry about getting your heart rate into the fat burning zone, which is nonsense. Don't worry about metabolic conditioning or workouts of the day or mile splits. Don't feel bad if doing squats and deadlifts aren't your thing and you'd rather be outside nature or that using an elliptical makes you wanna cry out of boredom. Instead, do the thing that actually brings you joy and gets you moving. That is what exercise is. For me, it's gymnastic rings and powerlifting. In fact, the rest of Team Nerd Fitness is quite varied. For Stacy, it's powerlifting and yoga. For Jim, it's Olympic lifting and gymnastics. For Baker, it's Brazilian jiu-jitsu. For Alec, it's ultimate frisbee and crossfit. For Margaret, it's rowing. For Daryl, it's martial arts. For Taylor, it's lifting and bodyweight training. For Noel, it's the Nerd Fitness Academy workouts. Despite that list being quite all over the place, it's all tied together by one principle. We exercise in a certain way because we enjoy it. This is why you can create a free character on nerd fitness with a focus in whatever reaches out to you. We also all know that some basic strength training, even if it's not our main focal point, makes us safer and better at the other activities we choose to do. So we all mix in a bit of that with our fitness routines too. It's why principle number one of nerd fitness is to train in a way that you enjoy. This will allow you to stay excited and motivated about moving. If you force yourself to do things you hate all the time, you'll give up the second you reach an obstacle. This is built into every element of nerd fitness, and we can help you find the path towards the life you want to live. 
It starts with the foundation of fun and the right attitude towards strength. Stop today, start today. I want you to have an honest conversation with yourself right now. One, if you are brand new to fitness, remove any preconceived notions you have about how you're supposed to train. There's no perfect way to train, but I'll tell you, there is a wrong way. Forcing yourself to do something you despise because you think you have to. And two, if you're already on your fitness journey, is there something you force yourself to do because you've always done it or because you think you have to keep doing it? If you're doing it to reach a specific goal, good for you. But if not, and it just so happens to be what you think exercise is, can you stop that thing? Think of it this way. What's one thing with regard to fitness that you've been forcing yourself to do? Or what's the mental image you have of fitness that has kept you from starting? And what's one new thing you're going to try? Or what's an enjoyable form of exercise you're going to do more of? If you're lost and don't have any money or time to try new things, do this instead. Load up an audiobook or your favorite podcast, put on a pair of shoes, and go for a walk. We all have to start somewhere, so we might as well enjoy it from the first day too. This will help you actually build the habit of doing the activity rather than doing something because you think you have to. Once you're ready to set some elite performance or physique goals, we can talk about sacrifice and doing things for reasons other than pure enjoyment. But until then, have fun. You just listened to part two of the post titled, Exercise Sucks, Here's What to Do About It by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Believe it or not, I was in the exercise sucks category for most of my life. I played soccer and baseball when I was younger, but I realized I hated those things. I tried tennis in high school, didn't like it. My parents bought a treadmill at one point and I used to walk and jog on it. There was a point where I was so out of shape, I couldn't jog for more than a quarter mile at a time without having to stop. So I wasn't really a big fan of that. And then I got into swimming and I learned I loved swimming laps. Weird, never would have thought so. I kind of took to it really quickly, but then I got bored with that and then I moved on to something else. And much like Steve, I finally made my way into a gym and thought, oh, this is what I've been waiting for. And so it's okay to try new things. Like I said before, when I get asked the question, look, just give me a workout routine that works and I'll do it. My response is, all workouts work. All routines work. But as Steve mentioned, look, if you have specific physique goals or you wanna be an elite athlete, well, that's gonna require a different form of training. But if you just want your heart to be healthy, you just wanna sleep better, maybe lose a little bit of weight or not gain any more weight, then you don't have to do things that you hate. Consistency is key. And the way to stay consistent is to like it. You have to sort of enjoy it. Otherwise, you're gonna find every excuse in the book to not have to do it. And I also agree with Steve when he said, if you don't like anything, Well, that just means you haven't tried enough things yet. I promise there is a movement out there that you enjoy. You just haven't found it yet. All right, really quickly before I go, if you wanna help keep our podcasts alive, we have many different ways you can help, both financial and otherwise. Come check out oldpodcast.com slash support to see how to do that. Anything listed there would be a great help. In fact, one of the easiest, quickest things you can do to help us out right now is to share this episode with someone. That's it. I thank you in advance for doing that. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a subscriber. Have a great rest of your Thursday and I'll see you here tomorrow for another Q&A episode and where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift, as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us, and remember, your optimal life awaits.